My name is Frank de Winne. I'm a European Space Agency astronaut from Belgian nationality. I'm also a Space Lab judge, so that's why I'm making this video here for you. I flew to the space station twice, once in 2002 on a short duration mission called the Odyssea mission, and once in 2009 for six months called the Oasis mission. During that mission, I was also the commander of Expedition 21. Well, the International Space Station has actually grown to be a huge facility which is orbiting our planet, the Earth. And of course, like any huge facilities, it needs to be maintained. Like, for example, here I'm in our Columbus module. It's a European contribution to the International Space Station. It's here that we do a lot of our science and research. But still, this module needs to be maintained. These racks need to be maintained as well. So we spend a lot of time doing that. Also, astronauts in space are subject to microgravity themselves. So our muscles are not challenged. So we need to do, to do sports to stay fit. Astronauts, for example, do two and a half hours of sports every day in order to stay healthy on board of the space station. But our main task is, of course, to do science and research. This is why we also work in this Columbus module here. For example, I have here the BioLab, a rack in which we can do biological research. There are many other facilities here in our uh, Columbus module on which we can do uh, research. And it's unique research because it's done in microgravity. Nowhere else on Earth we can have the conditions that we have here on board of this space station. So it's really a unique facility. Oh. On the International Space Station, we do a lot of research and science in a lot of various domains. For example, we do science in biology, or we do fluid science uh, experiments as well, because fluids, of course, in microgravity, they behave completely different. So it's very interesting to see and to get fundamental knowledge about it. But we also have furnaces on orbit to do, for example, material science and to make new kind of materials or to study them at least. We have here, for example, the uh, microgravity science glove box. In this glove box, we can do uh, experiments with materials that would otherwise be toxic for uh, the astronauts. So we do a lot of experiments in here uh, as well. Uh, we have a human physiology laboratory on which we do experiments on ourselves. So almost every domain of science that you can think of here on Earth, we can also perform on board of the International Space Station. But we don't only do science, we also do technology. For example, technology around water recycling. As you know, water is very important for our health, also here on Earth. And it's also here on Earth a scarce resource. About one billion people do not have access to clean drinking water. On orbit it's also scarce and astronauts also need clean drinking water to stay healthy. But since it's scarce, we do a lot of recycling. 70 to 80 percent of our water on orbit is recycled. Even, for example, our urine is recycled. So, the coffee we drank yesterday is the same that we drink today and will be the same that we drink tomorrow. And not only we drink our own coffee, we also drink the coffee of our crewmates. If we want to continue our quality of life as we have it today here in Europe, it's absolutely necessary that we invest in knowledge, in science, in innovation. We also have a number of challenges facing humanities today. Think about energy, think about climate change, think about a growing population. I'm sure that we can find solutions to these problems, but that's why we need you, young people, to invest in these careers. And maybe it can also be fun, because maybe one day your experiment can fly on this wonderful space station. Well, Space Lab is a unique competition for 14 to 18 years old to fly your experiment to the International Space Station. So imagine if you win this competition, your experiment can actually fly to the ISS and it will be live streamed towards the YouTube channel. Now, 
What do you need to do to win this competition? Well, actually, you need to send us a YouTube video with about two minutes, from about two minutes, that will explain very clearly the problem that you're trying to address, and then as well, the results that you try to expect. So, if you want to know more about this competition, visit the YouTube channel and go to Spacelab. Remember, your entries must be there before the 7th of December. So, there is not a lot of time left. But if you win, your experiment could fly to the International Space Station. Not only that, you could travel and see a rocket launch on which your experiment will fly to the ISS. You could eventually go to Star City and train like an astronaut. Or you could participate in a parabolic flight campaign. Isn't that all fun? And also, for our European participants, they could visit our European Astronaut Center or come here to our Technology Center here in Estec in Noordwijk, the Netherlands. So you see a lot of opportunities to have fun and to really contribute to the future of our society. Please participate. Bye.